Hola, amorcito. Vas a venir conmigo ahora mismo. Mira, nena, no me interesas. Muy bien, venga, tengo un pelín de prisa, así que levanta oh, el colón. Oh, Anda, gatillazo zarpiano. Es común en los lobeznos de más de 40. No me calientes. A no ser que quieras empezar a respirar por la puta frente, te aconsejo que te lo pienses. Eh, I'm Victor from eh, Cartelera, Spain. Eh, so, first of all, eh, congrats. Eh, I, only, I can only show eh, the first 35 minutes, but I enjoy a lot. Good. So, congrats. Thank you. And uh, tell me, how was the experience of making Deadpool and Wolverine eh, been for you? Uh, would you say this is your most uh, intense ambitions and crazy movie? Yeah, I would. Um, when you make a Deadpool movie, it's rooted in audacity. So the storytelling becomes anything you can imagine. And then you add the MCU to it and you have access to decades of legacy and mm -hmm. mythology and all the toys. So it was the most consuming movie I've ever made, but also the most gratifying. Mm -hmm. uh, you have worked with uh, Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman uh, before, and uh, now you uh, work with both. Of, uh, bo with both. Uh, how did the chemistry influence the film? I think it was interesting because Hugh and Ryan and I are all good friends in real life. Mm -hmm. And we made a movie about friendship. So it was a movie about male friendship that was made with male friendship. And whenever you can have something truthful on screen from what exists off screen, it makes the movie better. Mm -hmm. uh, how did you ensure the, the film uh, stayed true to the fan base, uh, fan base expectation uh, while bring, uh, bringing something new uh, on the table? Well, I was very lucky because I am a fan. So I protected the tone and the legacy of Deadpool and Wolverine. But I had two advantages. One, it's the first time they've co-starred in a movie together, so that is new. Mm -hmm. And it's the first time in the MCU, and that is new. So those are two new qualities that I got to bring to this legacy for these characters, and that made for very rich storytelling. Mm -hmm. With all the theories about the, the cameos in the movie, Deadpool and, and Wolverine, uh, which one uh, has surprised you most? Wow. Um, I'm scared to say which one because I don't want to give away whether it's true or not. But I feel like I've read everyone from Batman to Taylor Swift to Luke Skywalker are going to be in this movie. And by the way, I would love to make that movie. Um, but in a few weeks, finally, the world will know which was fact and which was fiction. But do you like Taylor Swift? Well, uh, she's certainly a fantastic musician and a fun person to hang out with. Uh, in Deadpool and Wolverine, uh, there are uh, violence, strong violence, blood, uh, sexual reference, uh, jokes about uh, Marvel, Disney and Fox. Uh, was it difficult to get uh, Disney to allow you to include all in this in the movie? I expected it to be difficult, but they understood from the very beginning, this is a Deadpool movie and nobody wants a Deadpool movie that has been sanitized. So they were very encouraging to be free, to be irreverent and subversive. And so we were all those things uh, with complete Marvel and Disney support. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, now uh, the box office is way down uh, and last year, uh, last year several superhero movies uh, were rejected by the audience. Uh, do you feel any pressure in that regard? There's always pressure. If you have my job, you have a privilege. They give you money to tell a story. I want the people who gave me the money to connect with the audience to make money. That is what we're doing. We're not doing poetry. We're not doing philanthropy. We're doing entertainment, global populist entertainment. And it's a privilege to get to tell stories on that scale. And I do feel pressure, but I also feel confidence because we really built this movie for audience joy. And I think that's what we have been uh, able to achieve and what audiences will experience in just a few weeks. And finally, uh, do you like to continue being involved uh, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Yes. With more Deadpool movies or maybe X-Men films? What it do you is prefer? All, I don't have a preference. I love all of it. And I've had a fantastic experience with Marvel and I suspect there's more Marvel in my future.
Okay, so thank you so much. Thank and you. I, I'm excited to see the world I'm movie. I'm excited for you to see it. Thanks, man. Esto es lo que nos hace falta. Una buena escena de acción a cámara lenta. Nadie sabrá si sales vivo o no. ¡Vamos, hostia!